Okay, this next game, we have Derek Carr and the Raiders traveling to Atlanta to take on Matt Ryan and the Falcons. Initially, when I looked at this game, the over jumped right out at me. I thought over. Before I even did any investigating, I said that is an over. That game has overwritten all over it. No pun intended. <laughs> the reason why is eight of the 10 Raiders games they have played this year has gone over 53 points. And that's right where the over under is at. It's at 53 and a half today when I checked it. 53 and a half points, eight times. Eight of the 10 Raider games that have been played have gone over that total. So we know the Raiders score points. We saw them against KC twice. The Raiders put up points against the Chargers. They put up points against Denver. They put up points. The Raiders put up points. It was really like the Bucks was one game they played. They didn't do that well. And I can't remember the other one. But if there's not any pressure applied to Derek Carr, he'll do a good job. As a matter of fact, on the year, he's fifth in completion percentage, he's sixth in passer rating, and he's fourth in QBR rating. So he does a good job already. Give him time and no pressure, he will dice the defense up. Let's admit it. The John Gruden, Derek Carr uh, relationship, it's working. It's where, and the, this Raiders team is a few players away. You know, to, to Raider fans out there, you're a few players away from being a true threat. I mean, you put it to you like this. I'm not saying the Raiders would beat KC if they met each other in the playoffs, but it's probably the one team KC wouldn't want to face because of a matchup style. And once again, relax, Chief fans. I am not saying the Raiders would beat you in the playoffs. I'm just saying it's a game you'd more than likely want to stay away from because unlike other sports, football is one game. So in football, there are times where the better team did not move on. Unlike basketball, where you usually know who's better because out of seven games, one team's got to win it four times. In football, it's one game. One fumble, you know, uh, one bad call, you know, one drop pass can change the entire outcome of a game. That's what makes football so fun. But anyway, that's another story. So going back to this game, initially I want to take the over, but then the more I look into it, you know, this is a game the Raiders cannot lose. They can't lose this game. If the NFL ended today, the Raiders would barely get in the postseason as a seventh seed. And this is only because the NFL extended uh, the playoffs, right? Because of COVID-19. If this was a regular season, the Raiders wouldn't even make the, the playoffs. So they need to win if they want to be a playoff team. Given how Derek Carr has played and given how these Raiders have played, given how I just saw them play against KC, and given the job job John Gruden has done as a head coach, I don't see how this team loses this game. This is an important game to the Raider organization. And John Gruden, a veteran coach uh, who's proved that he can do a good job with, with these weapons, I don't see how this Raiders team loses this particular game. Right? But, uh, style is everything. Matchup is everything, but importance. When the Falcons come into this game, they don't need this win as much as the Raiders need it. And when I see a game where it can go either way, I always side with the team who needs it more. Who must win this game? To me, to answer this question, it's the Raiders. The Raiders must win this game if they want to remain relevant and if they want to. Uh, make their way into the playoffs. They got to win this game and they travel well. I think they've only lost one game on the road and that was their first game. And right, and because of COVID-19 pandemic, tons of teams hadn't had time to build continuity and harmony yet. So I'm going to give them a pass on that first uh, 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 game they lost on the road. Since then, they haven't lost on the road. They've actually done a really good job. Right now, Matt Ryan and the Falcons, I want to say they've won four out of their last six, but only one of those was against a team who I thought was kind of good or above average, at least that was the Vikings. But given what I saw their last game, you know, I think they're a good team, but not really, you know, they're not elite and maybe a tad above average, but I'm not going to consider that a huge win. Whereas I saw the Raiders twice now take KC to the wire. And, and in the last five games, the Raiders have lost two, two, two games, right? One was to the Bucks and one was to uh, KC. Those are legit teams. And say what you want about the Bucs. The Bucs lost to Chicago by one point and to the Rams by three points, right? And, and then the Saints, they got blown out. But I'm just saying the Bucs are a good team. For the Raiders to lose to the Bucs doesn't mean that this means the Raiders are a bad 
team. Those are the two teams they've lost to in the last five games. And they played the Chiefs tough twice now. Like those that they, they could have potentially won that second game. You know, I, of course, once you saw the ball in Patrick Mahomes hand hands and, and at the end of the game, you knew he was going to drive down and win because his QBR rating in those situations is like through the roof. Right. The only way you beat Patrick Mahomes is you win a coin flip and you make sure he stays on the sideline. That's how the Patriots beat Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs in the AFC championship game. They won the coin toss. Uh, Tom Brady never let Patrick Mahomes touch the ball. That's the only way you beat him. Because if he has the ball in his hands and he has two minutes left, you're going to lose the game. So I, anyway, this Raiders team, you know, uh, Nelson Aguilar, Darren Waller, Josh Jacobs, you know, Derek Carr, he's been efficient with the ball. You know, he, he he's accurate with the ball. He has great downfield vision. Like he's done a great job at the quarterback position. And I feel like John Gruden has just gotten the best out of him. He's gotten the best out of this Raiders team. My only knock is their defense, but in spite of that, I still think they win this game, and and, and I think they cover. I I, I see them winning by four points, worst case. I can see them winning by a touchdown. Now, Matt Ryan can be dangerous. He's fourth in the NFL in passing yards. He has Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley. But the big thing about the Falcons is Todd Gurley is not playing. He has nine touchdowns on the season. So that's a big loss because Matt Ryan has 15 touchdowns through the air. He's going to be losing a a, a player who they rely on in the red zone. So to me, you know, given the fact that Todd Gurley is not playing, Hayden Hurst may also not play. Given the fact how the Raiders have been playing, I like the Raiders minus three points. So that's my recommendation for this game. Take the Raiders minus three points. Hey, Hey, everyone. Thank you for watching SP Sports today. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. This way you are notified when we post new videos. Also, if you have a moment, leave a comment and check out our other videos.